Hello, this is Rob from Chris W Roads in Ripley. Here we have a mini club, which looks really smart in grey with a with a black roof and the black with the black mirror caps. We've got some really stylish alloy wheels, as you can see just there. Have a quick look at the interior. We've got some really comfortable part leather upholstery. We've got some great features to get onto a bit later on in the video. Now it's slightly bigger than an ordinary Mini Cooper, so you'd expect to have plenty of room in the back and you wouldn't be disappointed. I've got loads of headroom, I've got loads of knee room between myself and the seat in front, which is in my driving position. I'm five foot ten, so it's good to know that you can fit adults in the back in comfort. If I just come around to the boots, it's pretty cool. It opens up in two halves, like so. I've got a decent sized boot, again with a retractable tonneau cover, so it's nice and easy to, uh, to load up. Make sure I shut those the right way around. If I just come around to the side, we can have a look at the shape of the car. So it looks like a Mini Cooper, just a little bit longer. It's a really uh, retro sort of styled car. It looks really, really cool. And then we'll just come around to the front. We can have a look from that angle as well. And it's the, the Mini look we know and love. So now let's have a quick look at the interior of the car. Okay, so on this side of the steering wheel, you've got your cruise control and speed limiter. Uh, and then you've got some audio volume controls just there. Now if I just move over to the screen, uh, you'll see we've currently got the map up for the sat now. It's a great size, it's in colour, it's lovely and clear. Uh, we've got the radio just there, as you can see we've got DAB digital radio. We've got a media option where I can access all my, all my external devices and then tell for telephone where I can pair up a device with the car's Bluetooth. Now if I just pop the car into reverse, uh, you'll see we have rear parking sensors that appear as a graphic on screen, just to make life easier in the car park. So below that we've got the dual zone uh, air conditioning, so both sides can be adjusted independently from one another. We've also got driver and passenger heated seats, uh, which are particularly nice in cold weather. Down there you've got your external connectivity uh, in this little cubby hole so you can keep your devices nice and out of the way. A couple, couple of cup holders just there which are always useful. You've got your driving modes down here. Uh, you've got your dial and your buttons for navigating through the different menus. Everything's labelled as you'd expect, so it's nice and straightforward to use. When the central armrest opens up, you get this little tray here, and then that opens up further, and you get a slightly bigger tray underneath there. So again, just for a bit of storage. And in terms of upholstery, as I mentioned earlier, we've got this part leather. It's in black. It's very neatly presented, and most importantly, it's really comfortable. Uh, so for more details, please visit our website at www.chriswroads.co.uk. I'll pop a link to that in the description. Please check out our fantastic reviews and thank you very much for watching.